And our, our next cruise is with Royal Caribbean and it's on board the Explorer of the Seas. Again, let's give you a little taster. My first cruise was with Royal Caribbean, Keith. I know, I know you're a big fan of Royal Caribbean. Yeah, and, definitely. And, and again, this is, this is a company, Sean, that produced so much innovation into the industry. You're seeing some of the entertaining things you can do on board. But with Royal Caribbean, the ship is a destination in itself. You know, you are going to these great places, but the ship itself has so much to do with the ice rinks, you know, with the rock climbing, with the crazy golf, with the variety of different restaurants on board. You know, if you are cruising with the family, remember the kids get looked after from the age of two up to the age of 17. They've got wonderful kids' clubs. I know, so you can actually, you know, leave the kids in safe hands and, and, and do some things, They're trained you? professionals yeah. that look after your children. You go away, have your holiday, come back, maybe have lunch and dinner together. You know what I mean? It's great. Johnny Rocket. So I they have my nephew there for his 15th isn't birthday. It great. You try the Oriole Sunday. Yeah. It's fantastic. You know, they, they stand up and they dance on, on the tops, you know, on, on the tops of the tabletops halfway through. It's a really fun, fun place to go and that's the Royal Promenade that they have on all the ships and as you walk down that promenade that there's street parties in the evening and you'll have brass bands going down there like a proper American Mardi Gras experience and, and the captain's night's great there isn't it really great yeah. really beautiful people dress up that all sense of elegance that you get but look at this a full ice show on board called Ice Planet and that is again some of the extras you get you get a full it's, it's a cast of 18 professional ice you know ice dancers on board that give you that show and they're selected you know some of the finest skaters from around the world and that's all free it's all yeah. included it's included in the price yeah. four nine was no it's not even four nine it's four eight nine four eight nine we said you we've got a great show tonight don't go anywhere and have your phone out give us a call tonight because we do think we'll get sellouts uh, and this one's dead easy because we're actually cruising from Southampton, so that means you can take as much luggage as you like. To, this is it. it. I love it. I can take as many, you know, many shirts, shirts, shoes, shirts and, and we... handbags and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Southampton, and I'm recording in first of all. I just going to cross the channel there. I'm um, going through to Zeebrugge, giving you a chance to go to Bruges. Of course, you can go to Brussels if you want to go and see the home of NATO uh, and bureaucracy. Go and do that. But we recommend avoid standardisation of cucumbers and head into Bruges and and have a look at the beautiful multicolour paradise as you wander around this ancient, ancient city with so much history dripping. Diamonds, it's a diamond capital of Europe. I mean, you can go and get some real beautiful, I mean, if you're there, because that's the great thing about cruising, it's romantic as well, so maybe a great opportunity for you to go and, and choose a ring for the engagement or something like that. And nowadays you can get married on ships as well. But Bruges itself is incredible. I recommend Choco's Story, where you learn all about chocolate's origins and production. Because the thing you think about with Bruges and with Belgium, I always do, is chocolate and beer. And you must try both of those at the same time. They work. <laughs> okay, relaxing day at sea, then we're going through to Oslo. This is now Norway. This is the forest-clad slopes plummeting into an island-studded fjord. It's Scandinavia's oldest capital city. It's the commercial centre of Norway. This sailing, be out on deck a couple of hours before you arrive. It's stunning as you sail down Oslo Fjord and into the city. You're docked by here, Akershus Castle. It's the best place for views, not only down the fjord once you've docked, but also of Oslo itself. And you've got this wonderful open area. Now, behind Oslo is the Vision and Sculpture Park. I recommend it. There's lots of beautiful half day you can spend there, but the waterfront area of Oslo itself is gorgeous. There's lots of ferries if you want to explore it by water. You can also go and see an abundance of different museums, the Viking ships, uh, the old Viking ships, there's three of them there, some of the oldest Viking ships and most complete in the world. You've got the famous Opera House and you've also got the Nobel Peace Prize Museum as well, which is absolutely stunning. And go and see the Scream, you know that wonderful painting? Yeah! Go and see I'd it, the original. i see that. Oh, it's incredible. It's not as big as I thought though, is it? No, it's not. No. Yeah. It's, it's really funny, the sense of perspective. Okay, relaxing day at sea then remember be out on deck as you sail away again because it's equally as gorgeous and then you're over in um, Rotterdam now, this is great so we've now gone to Holland so your third different country of this particular cruise this is your chance yeah Rotterdam was heavily bombed in the Second World War so it's quite a modern city so I'd head into Amsterdam if I were you and I'd go and enjoy uh, over 1200 bridges many of them illuminated by fairy lights at night you can hire a bike I recommend map bike for that just because they're they're really easy to use uh, cycle around the city it's really really flat maybe do a canal cruise if you're gonna do that head to the Leisure Plain and go to Boomtown, do Boomtown Chicago and do a small one uh, that are much more they're much more uh, you can see a lot more and you get down with really small canals. You can head out to the countryside, see the windmills and the tulips and all the clogs. Because in May we could, I bet there's some lovely flowers and things. Beautiful, yeah, the parks, the Vondel Park and Ooster Park are the two big ones in Amsterdam and I'd recommend them. You'd hire your bike and cycle around them. Okay, then you're heading out, uh, going through to Cherbourg. So now we're into France. And this is your chance to go to see the D-Day beaches, uh, to go into the Norman countryside, to go to see the iconic uh, Mont Saint-Michel as well, which is that stunning, stunning Gothic-style Benedictine Abbey, which gets surrounded by water. We're going to see it coming up next. 
that's the thing I would recommend to go and see. It's absolutely mind-blowing. It's like fairy tale. Uh, or, of course, you could, from there you can head into Paris itself, uh, see the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, and much, much more. What an incredible itinerary. What an incredible itinerary. Then you've got to head back to Southampton, sadly. Hey, what um, about... Oh, I'm actually, you sorry, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm Le Havre, yeah. yeah I'm, 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 I'm preempting, yeah. I'm getting excited, yeah. <laughs> to apologise, I apologise. Yeah, so Cherbourg, then you, then to go to Paris and Le Havre, that's your chance to go and see the Eiffel Tower, to go and see the Champs-Élysées, uh, you know, to wander through the Arc de Triomphe. I love Notre Dame. The yeah, Notre Dame Cathedral is absolutely stunning. But again, the, the River Seine, which you can which you can cruise down, which is well worth doing, is covered by these beautiful bridges, um, and it's a great opportunity for you to soak up some of that Parisian spirit. I was just thinking, kids, as, as you were talking to those fabulous ports, to get mm. to do all of this in one holiday for four hundred eighty-nine pounds. It's phenomenal, isn't it? Really it really is. And, and just to remind you, you will be cruising in style with. Royal Caribbean, this is a company that have got such a great reputation. And I always think, you know, their ships offer something for absolutely everyone. Well, this yeah. is it. This is it. You know, it's a really great, fun environment for you to be in. You can make a cruise whatever you want. If you want to sit on a sun lounger and just read, yeah. then you can do that. And if you want to get involved with the activities, there's loads to do. Um, I always see the shows every night and love them. So, just to remind you, because I know we've got loads still to show you, don't go anywhere this Tuesday evening. Um, we have a price tonight on this, 489 and that, by the way, if you go for balcony tonight, you'll get free car parking as well. My tip would be, and I always do this if I'm cruising from Southampton, we've got a special relationship with the Mian Valley Marriott. And you can actually stay there from £75 per person, but you get free parking and free port transfer. So really worth doing that. This is an eight-night cruise for 489 and you will save an extra £210 off the brochure price if you book tonight, of course. Now... Excursion-wise as well, we can offer yeah. great discounts on these, Up to 60% saving on what you'll pay on board, um, and a price match guarantee, as you're seeing there, and lots of different packages available. So again, when you give us a ring, or when you go online, have a look, loads of different options, but there are massive savings to be had, and that's the most important thing, we pass on our savings to you. And by the way, we'd love you to stay in touch, there's so many ways to do that, you can sign up to our newsletter, you can call us now to get your free copy of our Journey brochure, or you can check out our brand new website as well. Right, should we stay with cruises for under five hundred pounds? There was a there was a single on that for eight nine nine as well. I wasn't going to mention it because I know you're I'm, still single. I was trying to be sensitive. I was thinking about it. I was thinking. Yeah, I'm I, I was just I've been sensitive, but yeah, the single price is really good. Eight nine nine. Well done, Keith. <laughs> Thought I'd let you say it. That's all. <laughs> Sickly. Yeah. He normally rubs it in terribly. <laughs> okay. no, um,